Hello, second grade artist. We are going to use an iPad to create a feather drawing after we have finished practicing three feathers and coloring one of your favorite feathers in with permanent marker. So my first step is to open up the sketchbook app and I am going to get a piece of paper. So I'm going to click on the notebook tool, which is on upper left hand side and I will click New Sketch and then Create and Save Current Sketch. And on the left-hand side, we have a toolbar called Select a Pencil Tool. And we're going to take that pencil tool and we're going to change the size to a 14. If you click it twice, you're able to change it. And now I'm going to use my pencil tool to draw my feather touching all four sides of my paper. So I had to do this at a diagonal to really make it in proportion. I did not want to have my feather be too wide. If you have a wide feather, you may have wanted to start in the middle. So I'm now continuing on and adding those abstract designs. So I first drew a realistic feather and then I divided the space up between all the hairs on the feather and I'm including these abstract designs. So within each, within each one of those lines, I'm making a new abstract design. And I'm taking my time to draw this on my iPad. After I have that drawn out, we're going to paint it, but instead of using the paintbrush tool on the iPad, we're gonna keep it simple and use a paint bucket tool. Then if I click on the paint bucket tool, I will select a color from the color wheel and that's usually on the white side on the right side and it's typically black it may be a color depending on whomever used your iPad before. I'm going to click on the color and as soon as I do that I will select different colors and if I use my finger and click inside of the feather the paint bucket will fill the whole space. And that's a bit of magic with an iPad, because typically if we were using a paintbrush, it would take a while to paint this beautiful feather because we would have all of these tiny details to paint in. But instead, we can use the paint bucket to fill the space. So take your time creating your beautiful feather.